there are a couple different ways that you can do purchase orders. The first way was the shopping list that we discussed. So now let's actually do the second way, just creating a new one. We'll go to Inventory Activities, New Purchase Order, and you can see this screen appear, okay? So let's go ahead and set up a purchase order. We're going to do the account number. Well, just for, for the sake of demonstration, we're just going to do that. But this is going to apply to your vendor. So we're going to choose the vendor. Let's actually pull in a food item, okay? We have the barcode scan, inventory item name. So now we're actually, let's just pull in some chicken. Okay, so we're going to pull in some chicken breast. And then we're going to order a quantity. So we're going to order five cases, okay? So price per quantity is going to be $20 per case. Let's add that to the purchase order. And now what we're going to do is let's pull in um, some lettuce. Quantity ordered. We're going to order five cases. And price per quantity, say $7. So we pulled in a couple of those things. Let's just pull in one other thing. Let's pull in some tomatoes. Quantity ordered, we'll order 10 bunches. And price per quantity, let's just say $5 a bunch. And we have that in here. And let's, then just, we're going to actually make a full sandwich here. So let's actually order bread, <laughs> croissant. There we go. All right, so now we have the croissant here. And quantity ordered, we're going to get four cases. And the price per quantity is going to be $8.50 per case. And let's add that now. Okay, so now what we have is we have our entire purchase order right here. We have the bread for the croissants, we have the tomatoes, the green leaf lettuce, and the chicken breast random. Now I'm not suggesting that for just one sandwich you do a full entire purchase order, but you'll see in just a few minutes how this is going to have some continuity with what we're trying to do. So we have the date here, and we have the purchase order ready to go. Now we can update it or remove specific items. So if we want to make any adjustments, we definitely just push the update button. If we want to remove the item, we're going to you know, just push the remove button. A total of $219 to our Cisco partner, and we're going to be done and we're going to submit that purchase order, okay? Now that we've actually created a purchase order, let's go ahead and receive those items into inventory so that it will update our digital stock levels within the software. We're going to go to Activities, Inventory Activities. We could review the purchase order, but let's go ahead and receive inventory items. So you see right here, this screen has pretty much everything that we need to know, our, our earliest PO date, which we can adjust, and then the receive date is actually going to be today. That's going to be in gray. Now what we're going to do is all of your purchase orders would be under that uh, drop down. So we have purchase order number two with, the, with our account number, et cetera. So we're going to click that, and the entire purchase order is going to populate in this field. And you're going to see that uh, you have your totals here, and everything is going to look very similar to what happened in the purchase order screen. So we can add, edit, remove, and the main reason we have these here is maybe uh, there were th some of these items were on back order or what have you, and we need to make adjustments. Okay, we didn't get tomatoes, we didn't get lettuce, what have you, uh, and, and we, would, we would want to make sure that our purchase order is correct. We don't want to receive inappropriate items into inventory that we did not physically receive. So let's go ahead and receive these items into inventory by clicking Finish. Mark these inventory items as received and update them now, yes. The last piece of business that I'd like to discuss with respect to receiving inventory and purchase orders is this screen once again. This is that inventory item screen that we have been over uh, under setup and under inventory uh, setup, inventory items. This is something I just wanted you to see that we have the chicken breast random that we've purchased. And you see this same exact screen, but I wanted to touch on the math. You see eight slash five pounds. Basically, in a pack size, there are eight chicken breasts and it will equal five pounds, and you can see that this is the yield. It's going to yield 30 pounds, so the unit of measure is there, that five pounds, and you can check that again where we go here. We check the unit of measure, okay? Now, I also wanted, you to, wanted to show you have the vendor set up and the sort order, et cetera, and the reorder point and the replenish level, okay? So when we get down to 10 pounds, we need to reorder 30, okay? Now, the pack size that we have, the, that we have on hand is we have five packs, five cases, and the pack size, um, pack cost, excuse me, uh, is $20, okay? 
The total pack size value is $100, and you can see that we have all these specific items in inventory, and that's going to give you a, a pretty good indication about uh, all of the math that you need to address and uh, what's actually on hand, to be able to check individual items on hand.